how to make a simple PLC communication using three Mitsubishi Melsec FX5U CPUs. This is what I will explain in this video. Hello, this is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Pass Control Systems and off we go. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use one PLC as a master communicating to two other PLCs sending out data. The next step will be receiving data from these two um, PLCs and then in the third step I will explain to you how to read and write from one PLC to another PLC not using the master. So like I already mentioned in the beginning the first step will be that we write the register D10 from the master to the two slaves. And just remember the um, IP addresses, the master is the ending 250, the slave number 1 is the 251 and the slave number 2 is the 252 respectively. CPU 2 and CPU 3. For the setup I will open the master PLC and make a double click on here and then the GX3 works will be opening. Once the program is open, the communication need to be set up on the module parameter in the Ethernet port on the navigation window on the left side, Ethernet port, and then there is a application item and on this item there is the simple PLC communication setting. A double click on that will open the window for this and then we will see to use or not to use right now actually it is disabled so I will enable it and then the detailed settings will also have to be opened and well, let me see if I can move this a little bit more and then what we will do is we will write from the host, which is our local master PLC, the 250 ending, to the 251. And in order to do this, we have to select the built-in Ethernet and put in the according address here, the 251. Click OK and the next step will be that we can choose on which device we want to transfer. I will skip the bit device because I don't think this makes much sense. So what I'm going to do is uh, move the D10. Oops, sorry. Source D. The source on here D10 and the end also 10 we make it only one word and the destination that will be the slave number one also starting with the d10 and automatically only it puts in at the end the d10 and the next thing will be to the plc number two to the slave number two the same thing and we'll select also the Ethernet port and put in the 192.68.3 and the 2.5.2. There we go. Move that over a little bit that you can see it. There you got it. And also we move the D10 starting with ten, yeah starting with 10 ending with 10 and the destination will also the register be 10 there we go the next step is that it needs to be checked 
and there is no error found and then do not forget to apply it otherwise your whole setup will be gone and there we go all right that's it for the for writing the parameters and the next step will be that we make this in the system simulation and here is how to use the Mitsubishi Melsec system simulation for three PLCs. In order to do that, we have to open all three PLC programs. And now we can see, if we check the watch window, I put in the D10 on here. And also I put in the D10 on the slave number three. And if I now punch a number in the D10 in the master, you will see it will appear in the two slave CPUs. And this is how we do the step one, sending out data from the master to the, to the slave PLCs. The next step that I told you is that we will be reading from the slave to the um, to the master, which is according to our documentation from the slave number one, we will read the D20 and write it to the D20 in the master. So for this, we go ahead again and go to the Ethernet port in, this, in the master unit. The tutorial is our master unit. Simple communication settings. Go to this um, detail settings again. And this time we will be reading from the Ethernet port from the slave number one, which is the ending number 251. And we will be reading the D20, uh, D, sorry, 20 writing, oh, also only just one, oh, sorry, 20, there we go, writing it to the D20. The destination this time is our own PLC. That's why we can change this on here. And then we do this from the next PLC. We choose the 252, 192, 168, 3, 2, 252. And we will be sending or reading the source D20, which is the same register 
in the source PLC and we have to write it to a different register, otherwise it will be overwritten and you will have the wrong data. That's why we choose the D21. Check, apply and download. And then um, now it's getting a little bit tricky with these three windows open here. I got this D21 and 20, uh, 20 and 21 in there already. So if I write, if I take the D20 from the uh, from the uh, slave number one and put a number in there we will see that it will be ending up in the D21 in the master. There we go, in the D20, sorry. And if we do the same thing on the uh, slave 2, D20, punch a number in there and as you can see in the documentation with the setup, we put it on the D21 and there it goes. And this will be the step two writing, writing from the slaves or exchanging data from the slave to the master PLC. And now in the third step, we can write from one slave to another. We will only need slave number two and the slave number one. And in order to do this, we will go ahead and go to the go to the CPU two, which is the slave one. We will send the D30 to the slave three with the D40. So go to parameter module parameter Ethernet port, and then. The application setting the same thing like we did before. Disable, we make this enable and go to the detail setup and we want to write the from our host, from the source, which is our, our own CPU, the slave number one, and we write through the Ethernet port to the uh, 192, 168.3, which is the slave number two. And we will say that we write the word device, source word device 30 to the destination device D40. Check it, no error found, apply it and download. So this was the first one and the other one we're gonna make the same procedure only vice versa from the slave number two to the slave number one we will be using also the Ethernet port setting and do pretty much exactly the same setting, only that we change the Ethernet addresses. And that way you don't even need to change too much parameters doing this. So we write to the, um, to the 251, 192, 168.3.251 we take the word device source D30 ending with 30 and writing it to 40 in the destination check and apply And if 
to try this out, we will have the D30 sending descent to the D40. And I put a number in, any number is fine. And you can see we will send from the slave number one to the slave number two on D30. The number that we put in and also it will be vice versa from the D30 from the slave number two to the D40 on the slave number one and just miraculous the number will appear right here. This was the video about simple PLC communication from Mitsubishi Mailsoft using FX5U CPUs. Thank you for watching.